Do you ever feel like you're in survival mode? I have mom friends tell me all the time they feel like they're in survival mode. And you know what? I can relate. Very often I feel like I'm held together with caffeine and concealer. So if you're feeling overwhelmed as a busy mom and you want to thrive and not just survive, I think we have to trust in the magic of new beginnings. So here are five times I think we really need to trust in the magic of new beginnings as we enter motherhood. First, of course, with our brand new baby. And then we really need to think about our relationship with ourselves, our relationship with our spouse, our relationship with our work, and our relationship with our girlfriends. They're so cute when they're so small, aren't they? They're so cute. But when we come home from the hospital, our relationship with our baby, we're just trying to get to know this little butter bean that we just birthed, right? We're changing their diapers all the time. We're still in adult diapers, practically ourselves in those early days and hours, and we're never sleeping. The baby's not sleeping. Everybody says, sleep when the baby sleeps. But how do you do that? How do you have time for a shower and the laundry and the housework and taking care of your other kids if you have those too? But you know what? We just have to trust in the magic of new beginnings. We're not gonna be living on this forever. It's all a season. We gotta trust in that magic. And definitely less time for romance and long candlelit dinners with our spouse. In fact, my husband and I find when we actually do get away, and I have to admit, it's not as often as I wish it were, but when we actually go out to dinner, we end up talking about our toddlers the whole time anyway. So I think one thing that at least helps us to kind of keep the spark alive and trust in the magic of this new beginning of parenthood is just relish in the small moments. Come up behind one another while you're fixing coffee or doing the dishes and just have an admiration for what they're doing for your children and that common purpose that you have together. <laughs> it feels good to do something girly every once in a while too, doesn't it? I mean, gosh, our relationship with ourselves how much has that changed? You birthed the baby and then you're like, who am I anymore? Maybe you love to read and now you're constantly interrupted. You love to travel and it's so hard to get away. You loved fashion and now you look down and you see peanut butter on your shirt every day from those little peanut butter hands. You know what, girl? You rock that peanut butter. Our relationships with our girlfriends, wow, those have totally changed, right? So instead of going to fancy restaurants, our kids mess everything up, they interrupt everything. We can't do that anymore. We can't go to the club anymore. Can't even remember the last time I had a weekend away with my girlfriends. We end up meeting at the playground instead. Um, and half the time end up canceling plans anyway because one of the kids got sick, mine or theirs, unfortunately. So what I have found is the good old fashioned telephone, right? Instead of just texting, I very often will pick up the phone and actually call my girlfriends. I've also found that I do have a lot of girlfriends, but I don't have a lot of close friends. I just really cherish the ones that I can pick up right where I left off and enjoy some one-on-one -on -one time with them right here. Oh, work, our relationship with work. Whether you're somebody like me who was always so passionate about their career or your nine to five was just a job, it's changed. Oh yeah, and if you're a stay at home mom, that's a job too and your life has definitely changed as well. In this time, I don't know what the answer is. It's a juggle for all of us. We try to give 100% to both and it's impossible. There's only one of us. There's only 100% to be divided into however many pieces. I think we just have to let everybody know what our intentions are, set small, attainable, achievable goals, and give ourselves grace when we need to. You know, it's not always easy navigating a new chapter of life, whether it's motherhood or some other brand new chapter. I certainly struggled moving my family from Australia all the way here to North Carolina. Lots of ups and downs and challenges. But if we want to thrive and not just survive, we have got to trust in the magic of new beginnings.